Hi, AI is now one of the biggest disruptor of industry in our generation. We see millions of jobs being created and destroyed by AI. But what does it mean for a software engineer like us? What are the new career options available in AI? I've been working in this field for more than eight years now. And in this video, we will go step by step through a detailed roadmap of all the top AI career options available, how hot they are in the market, and what exact skills you require to master it. So let's get started. Imagine you have the next six months to prepare for your next AI job. What field you choose can seriously affect your career trajectory. We have fetched thousands of job posting of the current job market and selected the top six job roles. But before we do, I want to quickly mention that all these roles are heavily focused on Gen AI and we won't be discussing the traditional machine learning and data science jobs. There's a blurry line between all the job types. You may find them mentioned with other names and slightly intermixed technical requirements as well. All right, the first in the list is Gen AI engineer. This has emerged as the most sought after position in tech with consistent demand across startups to big tech. This role focuses on building production grade end-to-end -end LLM applications and agents. Imagine you are creating a new app or working on an existing solution in your company. To this full stack application, we need to integrate AI. You have either self-hosted LLM models or LLM APIs from providers like OpenAI and Claude. The company's internal knowledge can also be fetched and ingested into vector databases for fast data search, also known as Rack. One can also connect this new AI solution with internal tools like Slack and GitHub and via protocols like MCP. Finally, for deployment, the engineer can host as a server with a UI or a multi-agent autonomous system. All of this comes under the Gen AI engineering role. For technical requirements in Gen AI, we need high proficiency in Python is a must given these frameworks are by default written in it. In many cases, the backend might be written in TypeScript and JavaScript and also require the engineer to write the front-end interface as well. A high proficiency by LLM API providers is also needed. OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google's Shemini are among the most popular APIs, having both their REST APIs and SDK written in multiple languages. A high proficiency for prompt and context engineering is needed, which helps in getting the most out of these LLMs and to steer their output to get the job done. For RAG and other tool integration, frameworks like Langchain and Llama Index is also popular. High proficiency needed in data storage and retrieval techniques to get the most structured and high quality output for these LLMs. For vector databases, many options are there, such as Quadrant, Milvius, and PG Vector. For external third-party APIs as tool integration, knowing MCP is a must, and there are libraries like Langchain that can help seamlessly add multiple features to your application, like adding Google Drive, web search, PDF parsing, and many more. For agent frameworks like Langgraph, Crew AI, and no-code solutions like NA8N are the most popular ones, and this role also demands high proficiency in at least one of them. For deployment of the application, basic knowledge of packaging frameworks like Docker and knowing web servers like FastAPI Node.js is also required. For CI/CD, tools like GitHub for collaboration and tools like GitHub Actions or Jenkins are also needed for seamless build and deployment. Based on the company's cloud of choice like AWS, GCP or Azure, beginner to advanced proficiency is needed to design and deploy these applications. For monitoring LLM output and their performance, frameworks like Langsmith and open source alternatives like Langfuse are also among the most popular ones. Okay, this is all about Gen AI Engineer. Let's get into our second role. Next up on the list is ML Engineer. While the name can mean several things, ML Engineer role has matured significantly in terms of roles and responsibilities and is a balance between using traditional ML models with Gen AI based LLM systems. Previously, traditional models were trainable and deployable on a single GPU. Due to the size of these models in billions of parameters, working with transformer-based architecture adds significant challenges. ML Engineer is highly focused on the practical application of models and transforming them into production for end users. Data collection and analysis, selecting the right model and running distributed training with various optimization techniques, improving model inference performance in terms of quality, speed and cost, and testing and monitoring model performance and drift on live users. For technical requirements in ML Engineer we need, advanced Python skills and frameworks like PyTorch, Keras or TensorFlow is a must to work with these models an in-depth knowledge of different LLM architecture is needed to select the right model for the job. Proficiency in prompt or context engineering is a must. This is to get the most out of these LLMs. 
Based on the company's cloud of choice like AWS, GCP or Azure, advanced proficiency is expected in their ML offerings like SageMaker in AWS, Vertex AI in GCP, Azure ML in Azure or open source frameworks like MLflow. Classical ML models like XGBoost, Random Forest, K-Means Clustering, MLP is also a requirement for many. At the end, it's all about selecting the right tools for the right job. For training LLMs, Hugging Face is the go-to option. Right from model registry for many providers to multiple training and optimization libraries. For training, knowing various fine-tuning techniques for LLMs is a must in this role. Unsloth is a really popular library to train these models efficiently with faster training times and lower RAM utilization, which also seamlessly integrates very well with the Hugging Face ecosystem. To get the most performance when deployed, various LLM inference optimization techniques and knowing LLM serving engines like VLLM, TGI is a must. Finally, for CI-CD, basic to intermediate knowledge of DevOps with tools like GitHub Actions, containerization tools like Docker, and any model deployment platform can also be a requirement. This is all for ML Engineer. Next up on the list is a modification to this role. The third role is Computer Vision Engineer. With the virality of transformer models and introduction of video models, this role have gone through a major shift with almost all state-of-the-art models being vision transformers. Just like ML Engineer, this role is also highly focused on the practical application of models and transforming them into production for end users. All the requirements of an ML Engineer apply here as well. This role specifically focuses on image and video based models. For technical requirements, the place they differ from ML engineer role is deep knowledge of transformer based models, including diffusion transformer models, VLMs and multimodality transformers. Knowledge of classical image models such as GANs, YOLO, RCNN, CNN models such as ResNet is also needed. The role also differs in data that is primarily image. So operations such as creating data pipelines for image collection, pre-processing, augmentation and even annotation is done in this role. Knowledge of libraries such as OpenCV is really helpful in this case. This was all about computer vision engineer. Next on the list, we have MLOps engineer. This role has many other names such as LLM Ops, AI Ops or Agent Ops and is an extension of traditional DevOps specifically for the AI ML field. With time as the AI application grows, we start to see a lot of scaling challenges. Teams also start spending more time on cloud infrastructure management, bugs and failing pipelines and issues rather than the core AI development. This is where ML Ops comes into picture. By using automation and efficient system design with the right tooling, the whole app development, training and deployment lifecycle becomes smooth. For technical requirements, we need strong foundation in at least one cloud provider. Based on the companies, this could differ significantly with platforms like AWS, GCP and Azure. To create efficient and cost optimized AI solutions, strong system design skills and knowledge of cloud management services is needed. For languages, basic to advanced bash scripting, and languages like Python is a must. While many companies also focused on Rust and Go as the go-to language to create DevOps tools, this in most cases is not a hard requirement as such for MLOps. To create efficient training and inference pipelines, deep knowledge of an AI training platform is a must. We have SageMaker for AWS, Vertex AI for GCP, and Azure ML in Azure, and also open source frameworks like MLflow. For CI-CD, advanced knowledge of build tools like GitHub Actions or Jenkins is a must. For deployment frameworks, tools like Docker and Kubernetes is a must to efficiently deploy and scale these AI applications. For external integrations, knowledge of creating, deploying and scaling MCP servers along with application security protocols like OAuth SAML is also needed. Efficient deployment and management of databases for scale is needed, like vector DB deployments such as Quadrant Milvius for RAG applications. This role demands knowing the latency, throughput and cost trade-offs with LLMs and knowing optimization techniques like KV caching, distributed model deployment, multi-LoRa serving, using various frameworks like Hugging Face, Unsloth and VLM. Load testing tools like JMeter, Locust can also help in these LLM models. Finally, setting up LLM testing and monitoring tools with frameworks like Langfuse or Langsmith is also a requirement for Gen AI based companies. That's it for an MLOps engineer. Next on the list, we have Free Search Engineer. This role sits at the cutting edge of AI innovation, focusing on advancing the fundamental capabilities of LLMs and AI systems. While ML and Gen AI engineers focus on production applications, research engineers push the boundaries of what's possible with these models. The day-to-day -day working significantly differs from one another in terms of the type of research and its requirements. 
Research engineers work on developing new model architectures, improving training methodologies, and solving fundamental challenges in AI. They are the ones creating the next generation of models that everyone else will eventually use. You might be designing novel safety measures to prevent model hallucinations or creating explainability techniques that help us understand why models make certain decisions. Even though the technical requirements highly depends on the company type and the job role, let's discuss some common but not mandatory requirements. A lot of these roles have a minimum requirement of master's or PhD in computer science or related fields. Many roles consider research publication work and impact created by the candidate in the relevant field in the past. Deep understanding of LLM architecture is fundamental. Expert knowledge of attention mechanism and techniques to improve model efficiency and reduce computational overhead during inference is needed. Deep mathematical foundation in linear algebra, calculus and statistics to understand and improve upon existing model architecture is also a requirement. Advanced proficiency in languages like Python, C++ and frameworks like PyTorch, Triton and CUDA programming is essential for optimizing model performance at the hardware level and writing custom kernels for novel operations. For training, Hugging Face is the go-to framework. Proficiency in any distributed training frameworks like Ray and the ability to implement novel training algorithms from scratch using PyTorch is needed. Knowledge of quantization techniques, KV cache optimization, model compression, and other optimization strategies to make research innovations practical for deployment is also needed. Many roles focus on the safety and explainability research, understanding alignment techniques, interpretability methods, and developing frameworks to make AI systems more reliable and transparent. Experience with benchmarking and evaluation frameworks to rigorously test new approaches against existing baselines. Finally, on our list is a role that is getting a lot of traction these days. It's the developer advocate role. This role represents the crucial bridge between the company's AI products and the developer community. Unlike pure engineering roles, this position combines technical expertise with excellent communication skills. Imagine being the person who takes a complex new AI feature and breaks it down into an easy to follow tutorial. You're creating demo applications, writing documents, speaking at conferences and directly engaging with developers on social media and forums. For technical requirements in developer advocate, we saw deep knowledge of the company's AI offerings. You need to be an expert user of your own product, understanding every feature limitation and best practices. Knowledge of AI ML fundamentals to credibly discuss technical topics and troubleshoot developer issues effectively. Hands-on coding skills in Python and JavaScript to create compelling demos and sample application showcasing your company's AI capabilities. Strong skills in building and handling developer communities, organizing meetups, hackathons, online forums, and fostering engagement among users of your AI products. Excellence in public speaking is a must. Giving talks at conferences and conducting technical workshops, making complex AI concepts accessible to diverse audience. Proficiency in content creation, crafting feature update post, video tutorials, and engaging with developer community across platforms like X, LinkedIn, and technical forums is a must. And finally, ability to gather and synthesize user feedback, conducting user interviews, analyzing support tickets, and converting these insights into product recommendation that influence the roadmap of an organization. These are all the major tech jobs that are hot in the market. We have created a complete roadmap PDF of all the roles mentioned in this video. You can download it by signing up to our newsletter with the link given in the description. That's it for this video. Just like this, we are coming with detailed tutorials of major Gen AI tools and frameworks in the upcoming videos. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to not miss an update.